This video explores spinners. It's the fifth in a five-part series on input controls in Android. The objectives are listed here with a timeline for when they appear in the video. This is just a short preview of a much longer video. Visit ProfessorAndroid.com for more information. This with the drop-down list showing us the event fired when we select something from the drop-down list, just giving us the name in that text view. But clicking the button queries the drop-down list and adds some text in front of the name we selected. Now we've demoed both ways that we might want to interact with our spinner. And again, I'm using the term drop-down list and spinner synonymously throughout this demo. Okay, now the last thing to keep in mind is we have perhaps one undesired behavior in the way this is functioning. Let me leave the spinner's activity completely and come back to it. And notice that it says data here. That can be a problem because what happened is the on item selected method was called the moment we came into the activity and did processing. And that's usually not what you want. And unfortunately, the way this control was designed, it fires the method automatically when you come into the activity. The reason for that is we wire up the on item selected listener in the on create method. And we set the content view in the on create method, which we're required to do. But the actual user interface itself is not drawn on the screen until the activity gains focus. More information about that at this link that talks about how Android draws views. And if we read here, it says, when an activity receives focus, it will be requested to draw its layout at the moment it receives focus. So what's happening here is when the activity gains focus and it draws the spinner on the screen, it sees the drawing of the spinner on the screen as a change to the item selected and fires the event. So the event fires the moment the activity becomes visible on the screen. And what if we don't want that behavior? Well, slightly advanced topic for the most elegant way to cover this, but I'll address it now. And we'll address this more when we actually get into threading. And so the problem is this is wired up before the spinner is drawn on the screen. And when it's drawn on the screen, it treats that as an item selected change event. So what we can do is a little trickery here so that we don't wire up the on item selected listener until after the activity actually becomes visible on the screen. Well, how can we delay that? 